Hi everyone. Here we will discuss job sequencing with deadlines problem statement by using branch and bound method. The problem statement is here n number of jobs will be given which is stated with 1 to n number of jobs. Each job i has a deadline which, it, which will be uh, greater than or equal to 0 and the penalty will be given uh, pi greater than or equal to 0. Here the branch and bound technique is minimization problem. So uh, instead of prof profit we will take the penalty so why we are taking the penalty in the sense when the user not doing the job in the sense he has to pay the penalty amount suppose user not interested to do the job number one then he has to pay penalty five units of amount to the uh, organization then Suppose uh, he is, he is uh, doing the job number 2, he is interested to do the job number 2 in the sense then he can save the 10 units of amount penalty so, so whenever he is doing the job then he can save the penalty right uh, whenever not interested to do the job then he has to pay the uh, penalty okay so uh, pay the amount amount pay the penalty amount and save the penalty amount so this is the uh, given uh, scenario here user need the processing time to complete each job so the time will be given to complete the job within the deadline so here the uh, job has to be completed uh, by avoiding the penalty amount otherwise he has to minimize the penalty so since branch and bound technique is the minimization problem they are trying to minimize the penalty amount by selecting the jobs and avoiding the jobs so to avoid the penalty amount the job i has to be completed within the deadline here uh, the branch and bound technique is using cost and upper bound two constraints the cost is use uh, cost calculated by using sum of penalties uh, till the last job is not considered that means summation of penalty amount which are not belongs to selected uh, for the processing and upper bound is sum of all penalties except uh, the selected uh, pen, uh, selected uh, uh, pro job pro job number okay so now we will take the problem statement here number of jobs are given four jobs penalty amount is five units deadline is one unit time is one unit that means here when the a person selecting the job number one then uh, he can save the five five amount five rupees penalty amount and but uh, he has to complete this job within the one day time to do this process complete this process also one when you are taking the job number two he can save the 10 units of amount but the deadline is three days so maximum deadline is three days so given number of days is three but uh, he can do within the two days okay he can do he needs only two days to complete the job but given maximum amount of uh, time is three days so that is the meaning for the job number three here uh, he can save the six units of amount and here the maximum deadline is given two days but he needs uh, time to complete the job here only one day so within the uh, uh, single day he can complete the job but deadline is uh, two days within the deadline he can complete the job so here uh, by building the state space tree we can solve the uh, job sequencing with the deadlines uh, initially we are ma making the root node the root node uh, we are uh, mentioning with the cost and upper bound initially we are unknown about the upper bound and cost so we are making with infinity after that we are going to select uh, job number one so here when you are selecting the job number one uh, what is the uh, pr uh, what is the upper bound and cost so here uh, we are checking taking the job number one so deadline is one time to process the uh, job also one so we can do this so now upper bound is here we are going to calculate sum of all the penalties except the job one is included for processing so job one is included except job one so remaining values are 
here penalty 10 6 3 so except j1 we are using all the values that is the upper bound 19 like that cost is here sum of all the penalties right which are not considered till the job one okay till the job one so till the job one this is the till the job one okay so until here we have considered so till the job one there is no jobs left okay no jobs left without considering so it will be a zero so now cost is updated here equal to zero right and uh, the upper bound is here uh, 19 so here initially the upper bound is infinity okay it was infinity so now we have to update this as a known value 19 then uh, uh, the person is not interested to do the job one he he wants to do the job two so next possibility is he is selecting the job two by ignoring the job one so here deadline is three days the time to complete the process is two days yes he can do that so here within the uh, uh, two days he can do that job number two uh, given maximum deadline is uh, three days okay so uh, cost for cost for this one is here uh, the jobs until j2 which is not considered is here the job one job one pray, prayer to the job two how many jobs are not considered so only j1 is not considered so its uh, penalty value is taken as a cost then except job 2 we have to consider all the values okay all the values for calculating the upper bound so here the upper bound except job 2 uh, here 5 plus 6 plus 3 we are getting the 14 so now uh, the 14 is here uh, less than the 19 already we have got so we are updating the upper bound value from 19 to 14 so we have updated this then we are going for the another possibility is job number 3 so here the uh, user ignored the job number 1 and job number 2 he is interested to do the job when he is selecting this one what is the deadline here two days how many days he needs to complete one day so it is possible to do the job within the deadline then the cost to be calculated here the cost is here the except this job right until this how many jobs not considered j1 j2 not considered so we are taking the penalty of this uh, jobs 15 5 under 10 15 and upper bound is except job number 3 we have to use 5 10 3 so 18 is this one so now uh, upper bound is 18 so 18 is uh greater than 14 so what we have to do if it is uh greater than 14 we have to kill this path no need to explore further so we are killing this then next one is here uh we are going to select another possibility by ignoring three jobs job one job two job three they are going to select the job four when you're taking the job four deadline is also one time to process it is also one so it is possible to do the process then until the job four how many jobs you left so until the job four you left three jobs ignored the three jobs so these are the cost for this one so 21 then upper bound is here except job 4 we have to calculate all three it is 21 now the upper bound is here greater than the minimum value 14 so if it is larger than the parent node upper bound then we have to kill this path so no need to explore further right so now these two are uh, killed then so here uh, job 1 is uh, uh given here so these two are killed here now we are going to update uh the uh, job one and job two so we are going to explore the node number two here job one is already selected combining with we are going to select the job two so here when you are selecting the job one and job two uh first uh, deadline is here one so to complete the uh, first job is needed deadline is one so it is possible so within the three days first day you are taking the job one remaining 
or two days are there deadline is three so th this is the three okay maximum time so here the job two can be completed within the two days yes i have the two days so i can complete the job two so uh, it is possible to do within the deadline job number one and job number two so after that if it is possible we have to calculate the cost of the node so until the job one job two how many nodes we left nothing we left so cost is zero then except uh, selected job 1 and job 2 which are not included only 6 and 3 so here uh, upper bound is 9 so upper bound 9 is here less than the 14 which is calculated uh, in this uh, previous uh, level so now we are updating that 9 into the uh, minimum upper bound after that uh, here j1 is selected so now he is not interested to do the j2 with the combination of j1 he is going for job 3 when he is going for job 3 so j2 is left then we have to uh, check this so j uh, we, how many days to complete the job here you look at that uh, only two days is the maximum j3 okay two days is the maximum so there is no uh, third day so first day he can complete the job number one and the second day he can complete the job number so it is possible within the deadline then you calculate the cost cost of this one is until the job 3 how many uh, jobs left only j2 is left so we are having the uh, cost is 10 so how many jobs uh, here they have left except j1 and j3 they left j2 and j4 10 plus 3 13 so now upper bound is 13 so 13 is here larger than the given 9 so no need to update kill this path okay then we are going to explore the job number four by ignoring job two and job three we are going to explore the job number four so is it possible the combination of j1 and j4 we check the deadline here uh, how much deadline we are having the job one and job two only one day so in the, in the one day so you can complete only the job one you cannot go for job Four. So only one day is there, job one is allotted there. So job four you cannot uh, accompany with that. So we cannot, it cannot possible. So kill this path, right? Next, uh, here you are going to, ex this, these two are already killed. So we are going to explore the node number three. So node number three, again, uh, here job two is already selected. You ignore the job one okay then job 2 after job 2 you are interested to do the job 3 by uh, combination so job 2 is selected job 3 is now we are going to consider is it possible or not we check the deadline so deadline maximum deadline among these two jobs is 3 okay so first two days you can do the job 2 okay then what about the uh, next one so you, you need only one day to complete the job 3 you can complete the job 3 yes it is possible within the deadline so calculate the cost of the node number 9 so how many jobs you have left until the job number 3 you left only one job so that is the 5 then how many jobs uh, not selected except job 2 and job 3 so here you, uh, you left uh, here 5 and 3 so this is 8 so upper bound is here 8 which is less than the given upper bound in the previous uh, uh, level 9 okay so we are updating that uh, 9 into 8 now so new uh, value is updated that's what done here then uh, now we are going to another uh, another possible job 4 so combination of with job 2 we are selecting the job 4 already job 1 is ignored so here job 3 also ignored okay we are going to select the job 2 and job 4 so now maximum deadline here among this this one and this one is 3 okay so first two days you know we have to do with job 2 and the second uh, job I mean job 4 can be done within the 3 so that is one day is needed okay, uh, 4 job number 4 right so now it is possible within the time and deadline so calculate the cost so until job 4 how many jobs left j1 and j3 so 5 plus 6 uh, 11 and what is the upper bound a yeah, same value because we left two jobs so 11 so 11 is uh, greater than the give uh, minimum upper bound 8 so it is not possible to do the explore so you kill this path so already we killed this one this one and uh, 
this one and this one so now available uh, available uh, value is here uh, this node and uh, this nine so now we are going to explore the node number six node number six already look at that job one selected job two selected we are going to combination with the job three what is the maximum deadline here among the uh, three jobs so among the three jobs here we are having the uh, three is the de maximum deadline okay so uh, for one two three days okay so first job can be done within the first day and the second job you can done two days j2 j2 then third job there is no time period to uh, combining the job three so it is not possible so kill this path so another possibility you are going to select the job number four with the job number two and the one is it possible or not so here again you are having uh, what is the maximum deadline from this three so three is the maximum deadline so three days so first day you will complete the job one and second day you can complete the job two third day also you need job two two three days over so job four you cannot accompany so you have to kill this path so this is also killed here this is also killed right uh, this one also already killed in the previous steps now uh, this is also due to more upper bound killed so we have to explore only one possibility right so j2 j3 and j4 so j2 j3 and j4 you are going to explore like this now so here when you are exploring this all are killed here already right so now when you are exploring this or maximum deadline among this three nodes here three two one so maximum is three so here first two days you will be allotted to j2 and uh, second uh, i mean third day can be allotted to uh, j3 so there is no possible so you have to close this so it is not possible so these are all already killed so only this one was there in this also job 4 cannot be accommodated so how much how much penalty you have saved j1 and j3 so this is the value you have to you have saved so j1 and j3 here uh, j2 and j3 okay j2 and j3 here you are saving 16 amount penalties so you are saving 16 amount penalties j2 and j3 by leaving the jobs j1 and j4 you have to pay minimum penalty 8 you see maximum penalty amount you have saved right but you paid minimum penalty amount 8 units of uh, cost okay so that is the thing you can minimize the cost right penalty cost by using the branch and bound technique for job sequencing with deadlines problem statement thanks for watching